What is the global challenge that we face as human beings nowadays? Today, one of the biggest global challenges we face is how we are going to be able to supply enough energy for everyone in the future. Are we using more energy than usual? Why? Globally, we are using more and more energy. We all want electricity for our homes and fuel for our cars. We need our factories to work and our planes to fly. Do you think the normal energy we're having will last? But we know that traditional energy sources, fossil fuels like oil, gas and coal, won't last forever. What are the problems of the energy we're having? And are causing environmental problems like climate change. Some energy sources, like nuclear power, can also be harmful when accidents occur. So, what should we do? What other alternatives should we have? The development of new energy sources is becoming more important across the world. People are looking for sources of energy that are safe and cheap, like wind power, solar energy from our homes or huge solar farms, or hydroelectric power using our rivers and lakes. Why do we need other sources of energy? We need energy that won't run out, renewable energy, and energy that won't damage the environment. Green energy. Why is a country like Iceland lucky? A few countries, like Iceland, are lucky. They already have their own renewable power supply. Geothermal power. Geothermal power provides over 60% of Iceland's energy. Across the country, they use the boiling hot water from under the surface of the earth to make electricity. This electricity is clean and green and will never run out. How are the other countries looking at the problems of energy use? But other countries are looking at the problem of energy use in a different and dramatic way. They are building new cities that try to change the way we live and use energy today and in the future. In the United Arab Emirates, they are building a new green city where renewable energy is at the heart of the development. Mazda city is a walled city, 11 miles from the city of Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates who designed the Green Energy City in the United Arab Emirates, and what organization is building it? British architects Foster and Partners designed the city, and the Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company is building it. What kind of energy will they be using in that city? The brand new high-tech Mazda city will use only solar, wind, and other clean, green, renewable energy sources. They will also try to reduce energy use as much as possible. By designing buildings and streets to use shade and wind to stay cool, when the temperature outside can rise to over 40 degrees, the city will use less energy. The city will also be able to recycle most of its water and waste. Will people be using their normal cars in the city? One of the most important ideas for reducing energy use in Mazda is that you won't be able to drive a normal car in the city. Instead, there will be public transport using electric vehicles and a personal rapid transit system. The personal rapid transit system uses small pods that travel on magnets in the roads across the city.
You will get into a pod at stations around the city. Choose where you want to go on the touch screen, and the pod will carry you to your destination. What does the design of the city encourage people to do? The design of the city encourages people to walk. The staircases are large, and lifts are hard to find. Building a new city is very expensive and complicated. But at the Mazdar Institute of Science and Technology, and across Mazdar City, they are using and testing technology that, hopefully, will be used around the world in the future.